How's it going, internets? I hope you're having a lovely day. It's that time again. It's time to get into some animation. It's time to get those creative juices flowing. Time to spark that uh, imagination. And it's time to get inspired. And today's inspiration comes from the phenomenal uh, art director and artist in himself um, from the creative mind behind most all of the Blizzard franchise. And that is Chris G. Robinson. If you haven't seen his work, definitely check out stuff from his Tumblr right over yeah just look at this phenomenal rendering great colors great textures such an imaginative style i really love his playfulness um he does that thing that i tend to find myself doing where i usually do um big hands and big feet and really um over uh, emphasize facial expressions and stuff it's just it's got that sensibility of illustration mixed with the, the animation senses and i just love his his texturing and his coloring i think too this is one of my favorites of his right here. Uh, just great composition, great layout. Um, you know, you got these big bright colors, and then you got the dim colors in the background. And great, you know, leads your eye right to the focal points here. Just great setup. So, anyways, I will link to uh, his Tumblr down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, he's a phenomenal, phenomenal artist. One of my favorites. Um, that's for sure. So yeah, then let's go ahead and I'll leave it back on the one that I liked here for you. Let's take a look at a couple of quotes from him from an interview that I found. And then you don't question it, you just start building it and make it what it is and tell a story along the way. And I think sometimes it's a great way to um, approach the creative process is just get in there, sit in that chair, stand on that stage, whatever it is uh, where you're getting creative, whatever um, area you use, and just go for it you know if you've got those hours of, of practice and that skill built in then just sit down and just see how it comes out and do it along the way and the other one is the process is never the same sometimes it's very smooth and other times it's just beating your head against a brick wall until you're bloody then coming out the other side in a better place for it and i think that's a phenomenal phenomenal way i'm just gonna double quote here um a phenomenal way to approach things you know you, you sometimes um I mean, you can even see it if you've been watching these videos a lot. Sometimes there'll be um, rigs that just seem to just pour out and you get this animation right away. And other times they take a little bit longer and you get stuck on something and you have to keep working at it and keep working at it. But in the end, you want to have something that you can at least learn from um, to bring into the next project that you work on. Or at least an experience or something that you can pull out of it and be, like you said, uh, in a better place for it after after it's over. So that being said, let's get into um, today's animation. We're going to be used, this is um, a Mortimer rig. It's a free rig you can grab over at Creative Crash. I know um, we actually did a Mortimer rig a while back, but that was a mouse, so it looks like we do have a couple of the same naming conventions, uh, or this one is just like a little monster crab kind of thing. Um, so if you're not familiar with this series, what we'll be doing for the rest of this video is we give ourselves 48 frames. That's two seconds of animation and uh, see what we can come up with. I've never used this rig before, so that'll introduce some um, different things here. We might have some different challenges or different things to talk about along the way. Hopefully um, you might learn something, or at the very least, at the end of the video, you get inspired to go off and create something of your own. And then, like always, don't be afraid to share back those great things that you're creating right down here so we can see them and we can see all the amazing stuff you're doing. So that being said, let's delve right in. So first thing I want to do is create a polygon primitives cube, just so we have a base here, and a little off center, so let's tweak that over here. And then one thing I did notice um, about this rig is right when you first start um, the rig, if it's at zero, it goes off to the side. So what you're going to need to do is just throw a uh, negative 90 degree on there, just so it's sitting flat, unless you want to do something where it's like crawling along the side of the wall kind of a weird thing with the rig, but uh, just a little tip there if you are going to be end up using this rig. And then we'll go ahead and turn everything off except for our nerve curves, nerve surfaces, and our polygons. So we're not going to key anything that we don't want to here. And let's turn our grid off as well. And let's try and find a little pose for this guy. Some of those bent legs, so let's put those down there. 
ring. I'll we'll definitely pepper that in um, as we move along. Um, so I feel like that's a fairly okay uh, starting pose here. Just something that tweaks it from where it is uh, just as the default. And let's go ahead and switch our frame range. We're going to go set 0 to 48. And we'll grab everything here, go to 0, and we're going to set a key there. Start building our animation now. For this one, um, we want to do the feet and the hips first. And for hips, it's just going to be kind of the root or body controller. Um, so what we're going to want to do is. back up. Switch to 50 frames just so we can keep it in that kind of base 10 system.
let's go ahead and grab our, our graph editor. Our translate x, that's not very even, so let's clean that up a little bit. Uh, and again, I'll just take a second here to talk about why we do this, because right here, um, we've got like consistent movement and then it kind of slows. And then that's a pretty uh, even amount of movement that would go there. This one would start to slow here, and then it would slow into that just taper off there so it would give a lot more of a jerky uh, left to right movement so what we want to do is we just want to clean that up and make sure that that's got a nice consistent movement throughout on the hips and then we'll have to adjust the feet I'm sure um, to allow for that. Let's go look at this guy. Let's see if those movements, and we'll take a look at our graph editor here again, just see if those movements are pretty consistent. I feel like this one could be. This is a move on that side. I was thinking that was a planned phase. And then we'll duplicate that so they hold there. There. That. Just this. This should be I just want to keep, make sure they're like balanced there too. Okay, I can 
pretty good start to our shot. So let's go ahead and save it where we got it. Now let's go ahead and build it in the passing positions. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go back in. We're just gonna hit S on our keyboard here and make sure we have those keys locked in that all those values are gonna be saved here. We're gonna lift it up here. And we're definitely gonna offset one of these legs uh, for frame and one of the back so they're not hitting at the same time, but we'll use them. We already have, so we don't lose any of that information. And I'm going to do a passing position. This is probably going to be too much, so I'll definitely tone that down. Uh, we're just building it in right now. I'll help add some weight to our shot here by doing a little bit of pressing up on the body there. Let's go and just even out those up and downs and scale them back a little bit. So let's go ahead and check that out. I feel like it's too much up and not enough down. And probably too much over on the sides. So yeah. It's a little better. And then let's have the uh, rotate to favor the forward pointed foot. Now is that one doesn't really go out too much far. Not too far, too much far, what are we saying here? Uh, let's clean up uh, that curve here first and then let's adjust that um, mid pair. Okay. So like you said, what I'm gonna be doing here is making sure that this one we just grab everything on our transit X and let's just push it to four. Okay, starting to get there. Let's do a little bit of uh, rotate to favor the back planted foot here. controller, we just have a body controller. We have to kind of careful where we're going because we don't have anything to offset it with for that movement. Let's 
this is probably going to be again too much, so I'll we'll definitely scale it back. Let's see. something I want a lot of, but just a little feeling of. And we'll probably accentuate that by, if we can, by doing uh, some movement in the head that we to emphasize that. Let's see here. Gives a little bit of a drag there. And maybe for these things, we could, um, some more variation between what the front would do and what the back would do. video every day where you can't do a ton of polish and we do it in one more shot. Too bouncy for me, but no, we got kind of the right idea there. So let's see. side to side. We just want to kind of offset what we have on the body so the head's not doing that free movement of the body. It's a lot better. Gonna have a little bit of tilt. And then let's go ahead and look at this jaw. And then we'll keep that on now. Uh, kind of some tendons there.
instead of getting them. Okay, sorry about that. Just had a little, little foster cat running around. Being very playful this morning. And I'm just doing a little bit of drag and bounce on that jaw. Exaggerate the up and downs, maybe a little more on these. Let's see if I'll have one more. Just so there's some more variation between the middle foot and the last one. So we'll just uh, lower this one. So that there's both the timing and a posing variation here, so they don't, they can feel similar, but they're not going to feel exactly the same.
recently. Change up, but it's pretty fun rig to work with, uh, especially given the controllers we had. I think we got some good movement up there. So let's go ahead and take a look back at where we started with uh, Chris G. Robinson, um, creative uh, director and amazing illustrator, um, and one of my favorite creative minds behind the uh, Blizzard Entertainment uh, team. And you don't question it, you just start building it and make it what it is and tell the story along the way process is never the same. Sometimes it's very smooth and other times it's just beating your head against a brick wall until you're bloody. Then coming out the other side in a better place for it. And I think that's a phenomenal way to think about the creative process and this creative journey that we're all on. And that's that some days you're hitting your head against a brick wall and some days it's smooth sailing. But in all of those, try and take it with a grain of salt and realize that it's all part of a journey and you're getting there and just keep putting in those hours keep trying every day, keep pushing yourself to get better and to grow and to just continue on your whatever it is for whatever kind of um, creation or uh, wonderful worlds you want to set up for yourself. Just continue on your journey every day. So that being said, thanks again for watching. Thanks for all the likes and subscribes. You guys are awesome. And uh, we will see you for some more animation tomorrow.